good day everyone another uh, little review about um, something that's not a do-it-yourself it's already pre-built but I thought it uh, might be actually very interesting for two reasons well first for the price of that uh, there's no points of me building it and second it is actually very interesting because well it, it's not bigger than the actual segment the display itself it has a battery to remain to uh, keep track of the time and it tells you the temperature so there's a little uh, clock that tells you time and if I there's two little button on top here time there's actually the date that's the temperature uh, yeah it's a little chilly in here and well I was wondering what was 4.9 U but that's actually a V and that's actually the power supply that you're feeding it and I have it right now on my power supply so you see 4.99 it is actually not too bad and the reason why is because you can actually go higher uh, it says on uh, the website that it can go up to 6 volt and down to about uh, 4.5 I think it start to turn down I'm actually down to 4 volt now alright so at 3.6 it's 3.6 volt it shuts down so you can actually use that with a lot of different uh, source for the power and it doesn't consume lots of power which is actually very very interesting let just me let me bring back the, that to 5 volt because right now uh, I'm actually consuming roughly 20 20 milliamps so very very little power to have a nice display and of course if there's a battery here which is not supply but if there's a battery you can turn off the power and it will remain it will uh, retain the time and everything also if we go into the adjusting mode you can adjust the minute the hour uh, month uh, the date and uh, the month and there's actually a compensation for the time and a compensation for also the temperature now which one is which uh, I think I would say D would be for the time and C would be for the temperature but uh, I'll have to try it I have one running and it's been running for about two days now and it keeps the time just wonderful uh, those at zero so uh, and this one I have no idea what it means so and of course well there's no there's no instruction manual so we'll have to we'll have to find out that's probably for uh, for the year as it goes from zero to so but uh, beside that it's a fairly fairly uh, complete little uh, clock it actually works very very well very very well and I'm actually quite in quite satisfied with that that little uh, clock and for the price, well, you can't really go wrong with that, especially that it runs on um, a very flexible voltage. You can have that running on um, a little uh, solar panel on the day, and then at night you, you plug that on a bank of, let's see, super capacitor or an, even the uh, lithium battery because it won't drain the battery completely, which is actually good. And then, uh, or you could have it set up in something uh, something else like for uh, four double A's or something and having a little clock that you can carry with you and when you want the time you just press the button it gives you the time and then you release the button and then it returns back into uh, standby and also uh, there's not another little function uh, right now just after the voltage if you press it again it will actually scroll in between each function so could be a useful if you if you just want to see everything and not pressing any button or you have that in case in a case and uh, you don't have a, a easy access to the button so uh, thanks for watching